In a universe where every word and thought carries weight, a truth emerges. Welcome to a journey of self-discovery, empowerment, and transformation. Every word you utter, every phrase you repeat, sends out vibrations into the universe. But it's not mere metaphysics, it's science. Sound is a form of energy, and your words, when spoken, release energy in the form of vibrations. Now, imagine the energy you emit when these words are infused with emotion, intent, and belief. Many of us are guilty of negative self-talk. We tell ourselves, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, or this is too hard for me. What you don't realize is that by repeating these phrases, you are solidifying these beliefs within your mind, shaping your reality according to them. But consider for a moment what might change if instead you told yourself, I am capable, I can overcome any obstacle or every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. The difference is not just in meaning, it's a shift in energy, perspective, and ultimately, in the reality you manifest. The human brain is an extraordinary mechanism. When you feed it with positive words, it starts to believe them, and slowly, your external world begins to reflect your internal dialogue. Positive self-talk is not about deluding oneself. It's about giving your mind the right environment to thrive. It's like planting a seed in fertile soil. Neuroscientists have shown that self-talk shapes the neural pathways in our brains. Positive affirmations reinforce positive pathways, making it easier to think and act in ways that align with our affirmed beliefs. Conversely, negative self-talk strengthens the neural paths that lead to self-doubt fear and inaction. Your self-talk becomes your beliefs, your beliefs turn into actions, and your actions lead to results. And these results further reinforce your beliefs. It's a cycle. So if you want to attract what you desire, it's crucial to kickstart this cycle with empowering self-talk. Imagine standing in front of a cosmic mirror this mirror doesn't just reflect your physical appearance, it reflects your beliefs, emotions, and self-dialogue. Whatever you project onto this mirror, the universe sends back to you in abundance. If you project scarcity, doubts, or fears, that's precisely what you'll receive. But if you stand tall, look at that cosmic reflection, and project love, positivity, and affirmation, the universe will echo those sentiments back to you. Beneath your conscious thoughts lies a more potent force, the subconscious mind. It's always listening, absorbing, and believing what you tell it. If you continuously feed it with negative dialogue, it starts accepting that as your truth. Many individuals often underestimate the impact of their words. Speaking thoughtlessly, without pondering the repercussions, can be detrimental. Continually verbalizing sentiments of lack and despair sends those vibrations into the universe, affecting your subconscious. The subconscious mind doesn't judge what's beneficial or detrimental to you. Instead, it dutifully manifests your spoken beliefs and perceptions. As Joseph Murphy once said, as you sow in your subconscious mind, so shall you reap in your body and environment. Therefore, if one continuously speaks of weakness throughout the day, that very weakness will become prominent. Similarly, dwelling on lovelessness will attract more of it into one's life. However, the beauty of the subconscious is that it can be reprogrammed. Start feeding it with positive affirmations, powerful visualizations, and optimistic beliefs. You might ask, despite my desire for happiness, why does my subconscious often deliver more unhappiness? Neville Goddard suggests that we manifest not what we desire, but what we embody. Instead of saying, I don't want unhappiness, channel your words into affirmations like, I am happy and blessed, taking pleasure 
in every moment. In this way, you assert your current state of happiness, setting a powerful emotional precedent. In the end, how you feel deep down affects what happens in your life. Just saying positive things about money and success isn't enough. You need to truly feel that sense of abundance. When you're thankful for what you have and think with the mindset of having enough, you'll start to talk differently. You'll complain less and want to say thank you more. So, it's good to watch what you say and how you feel during the day. The power and essence of words are profound. When you speak or even think you're sending out vibrations, shaping your reality. The language you use particularly about yourself has subtle yet long-lasting effects on your psyche. For example, making jokes about bad things or putting yourself down, even for fun, might seem harmless in the moment. But over time, these words gradually become part of your subconscious, influencing your self-perception and your worldview. It's important to realize that every word carrying emotion or conviction does not just vanish into thin air. When you articulate a sentiment, it lingers, vibrating within you, eventually shaping your reality. Constant complaints, for example, don't just express dissatisfaction. They fortify the very things causing discomfort, embedding them deeper into your life. This can be seen in some couples who keep complaining about Etivia. Instead of trying to understand and love each other, they end up more unhappy because they focus on the negative things. The conscious choice of the right words becomes an act of empowerment. Rather than saying I hope I can manage this, asserting I trust I will handle this can make a significant difference. In the former, you're projecting uncertainty. In the latter, there's an undercurrent of confidence. Words such as try and hope introduce doubt, whereas trust and know reflect assurance. Choose positive words when you talk to others and yourself. Instead of saying, I hope I can win, say I trust that I will win. Instead of saying, I'll try my best, say I trust that I'll do amazingly. When you use positive words, you bring more happiness and energy into your life. The words you say really do have power. The words you use can say a lot about who you are and how you feel inside. They tell others and remind yourself of what you really think and feel. That's why it's important to be careful with what you say. Try to always talk to yourself with love and kindness in your mind. When you're kind and loving to yourself, it helps you speak and act in positive ways outside too. By doing this, you can turn your thoughts and words into the best version of yourself. When you speak with love, good things happen. Over time, words are powerful and they make a difference. If you are not sure about this, just watch and listen to the people around you. You'll see that what they say often matches what happens in their lives. So always remember the impact your words can have. People who struggle with money often talk about their struggles, while those who have money tend to talk about growth and opportunities. But it's important not to judge anyone based on this. Whether someone has a lot or a little, everyone is valuable and unique. The way they see the world comes from their own mindset and experiences. The things you say in your everyday life can shape your personal experiences. It's like your words are magic spells that have a lot of power. Hermes Trismegistus believed that if you really understand how to use your words and thoughts right, they can guide you not just in this life, but even beyond, bringing you closer to something divine. Even after your body is gone, the power of your words and thoughts continues. What you say and think can affect not just your current life, but also things you might not even know about or understand. So your words really do have a lasting impact. Awaken your inner power and use it wisely. Speak with love 
and you'll see more love around you. But if you use hateful words, you'll end up drawing in negative vibes and problems in your life. We all have the power to create an amazing world in our minds, not just in a certain place, but how we think and feel. Believe in yourself and tap into that deep power within. Wake up that special part of you and you can help make the world a better place for everyone. If you are still with me, I want to thank you for your support and wonderful thoughts you've shared. Your comments have been truly wonderful and I'd be happy to read more from you. Continue to share this video with your loved ones. Thank you for your precious time and I hope you have a wonderful time. Remember, your words can shape your reality. Speak with love and positivity. Subscribe and click the bell icon for more inspiring content. Until next time, keep spreading good